I would like to share some ways to shoot nice, clean, bridal boudoir photos without the boudoir. I mean, photos that you do in your studio or even your home studio, because the problem is that you might have brides who would love to have some clean, posh boudoir photos, but they don't have time, they don't have budget for renting a really posh hotel room. Their own home might not look ideal either, they might not have bridal lingerie and whatnot, but all of that is no real problem. You can get away with the bride just wearing simple plain white underwear and you add a veil, maybe you add a garter and that should be enough. But how do you add the boudoir? Well, my mom always said, boy, make your bed. And this is what I do for photos nowadays. I make my own bed. I'm using a comforter or a blanket I lay it on the floor in front of a white wall. This is really great because it's kind of hard. So when the model is posing on top, then she doesn't sink in like she would do in a real bed. This is much easier to pose for a model, especially if she's not professional. Then there's also no distracting background in the frame. No edge of the bed cutting through the model's head. I also don't have a bed frame at the end of the bed in front of my lens. This is really good. But there's one caveat for bridal boudoir photos in this setup. I mean, sure, it's nice, clean and bright on the white background, but a bride is usually wearing a lot of white as well. And a white veil in front of a white background does not give you a lot of contrast. So make sure the veil is one or two stops brighter than your background move in your light source nice and close. This way you will have more light on the veil and on the bride than you have on the background and this is what you want. For variation, have your bride posing just standing in front of that wall. This is giving beautiful, clean and self-confident photos. Or alternatively, have her leaning at the wall and shoot along this wall. This gives you a much softer feeling and it matches boudoir really well. You can also go into the opposite direction and shoot on black instead of white. Just use a black curtain hanging there. If she is proud of her white dress, for example, then a black curtain will absolutely make that dress shine or instead of standing, you can also have her down on the floor, especially if you've got a nice floor, a wooden floor for example. That also adds variation. Or you go into the opposite direction again and you shoot details instead of full body. A black background is awesome for bodyscapes with bridal theme. If you don't have a black background, then you can still achieve a dark and moody look with partial and pointy lighting. You don't need a bunch of flashes for that. You can, for example, use flash painting. That means you have your camera on a tripod and you leave the shutter open for 10 seconds. And during that time, you fire a couple of flashes from a speed light really close to the bright. Now this way, the whole resulting image is looking really dark and moody, even though she's just leaning against a white wall. A much more simple variation is just go outside. If you are blessed with at least a bit of green garden at your location, then use that one as well. You can shoot with an open aperture like f2.8 in order to blur the green background and leave the attention of the viewer on the bride. This works even in cases when the garden is not very photogenic, like my own garden in this example. So this is just a few ways to make nice bridal boudoir photos in a very simple location with no boudoir. <laughs> If you got more ideas, then please let me know online, for example, on our Facebook page at goodlightmag.com slash Facebook. And for all of your setups, I really wish you good light.